The Sacramento Hispanic Chamber of Commerce is dedicated to empowering Hispanic-owned businesses. It's a dynamic force fueling economic, economic growth, entrepreneurship, and leadership within the community. Here to tell us about their latest efforts for equity and inclusion, we have Chamber Board Member Lydia Ramirez and Chamber Foundation Board Member Veronica Delgado-Rodriguez. Welcome to the both of you. Thank you Thank so you. much for having us. Yeah, we're happy to have you on. And I wanted to start off by asking you, Veronica, tell us about the role of the Sacramento Hispanic Chamber of Commerce Foundation and how it supports the local business community. Yeah, absolutely. So the foundation is the nonprofit side of the chamber. And that's where we really focus on our educational programs for small businesses. Um, we have our Emprende program, which is great for those startup entrepreneurs that are looking to go from pop-up shops to brick and mortar or from brick and mortar to adding employees. Mm -hmm. It's a, a great program. We also have access to capital with, through our Accesso Sacramento. Sometimes small businesses need that little infusion of cash. Yeah. We offer that grant so a small business can buy that new product that will get them to that next level. And of course, we also offer scholarships, which is something we've offered for years. Um, and we have an endowment for it. And so we have two scholarships for college students and also for that young professional or that professional looking to get that next step through a leadership program or through grad school. Wow, so a lot of resources that oh, are yeah, being provided. Absolutely. Yeah, which is so helpful. And when it comes to helping small businesses and the greater Sacramento community, what kind of programs does the chamber offer? So I would mentioned our um, Emprende program, which mm -hmm. is for our professionals, um, our small businesses looking for that education. That's a really important one because you go into business thinking you're just going to work your program, but there's so many other aspects. There's marketing, there's the financing, the accounting, yes. the for all the forecasting, and that's what our programs do. They help teach small businesses all the steps they need to make it a successful business. Um, we also have Level Up, which is for that company that's already been established yeah. and looking to grow through um, new products or hiring employees. Yeah. And then of course, like I said, the access to capital is a really key element um, that cash infusion or helping them connect with um, procurement opportunities. Mm -hmm. A lot of businesses are eligible for procurement opportunities, but there's a lot of steps to get to that point. And so we help um, with a lot of our partnerships, walk them through that process mm -hmm. to help them grow their business. And those are some of the strongest ways that our small businesses have grown their business is through procurement opportunities. Yeah, and I'm sure that guidance is a sigh of relief for so many Abs people. Absolutely. We're there to coach them, right? Yeah. Um, as a chamber of commerce, our job is to really help them succeed. So that's why so many businesses come to us. They need that education. They need that extra support and really that cheerleader of, yeah. you can do it. It's hard, but you can do it. <laughs> we got it. your back. We got your back. <laughs> yeah. Don't worry. And Lydia, I wanted to ask you, could you share some specific ways the chamber contributes to the growth of small businesses? Sure. So we are absolutely very active in the small business community, specifically with Hispanic um, growing businesses, right? So a few ways that we do, ribbon cuttings, grand openings, networking, uh, partnerships, just support overall. Mm -hmm. Veronica talked through kind of that uh, startup to ending and selling and all of those in between questions that we provide in terms of resources, but wealth of knowledge, wealth of community mm -hmm. support, um, and then even with our own businesses that we're a part of, so Veronica being a part of SMUD, mm -hmm. myself being a part of Five Star Bank, we have the mm -hmm. opportunity to really engage with the community through our own uh, businesses and then as well as through the business with the board as well to be able to help support small business growth. Yeah, and I wanted to ask you also, Lydia, let's talk about the SHCC's 2023 Economic Impact Report and your annual State of Hispanic Celebration. What can this tell us about the current state and contributions of the Hispanic community in the region? Um, it says opportunity. So <laughs> we had such a wonderful time. So we kicked off Hispanic Heritage Month yeah. with the um, uh, annual State of Hispanics. Um, and with this, it came our what we call our 2.0 version of the economic yeah. report, because this isn't the first time, it's the second time mm -hmm. that we've launched this in conjunction with Sac State and uh, SACOG. So with this, this report really offers an opportunity for the community to really understand what we can do to help support the community as a, as a whole, the Hispanic community specifically, understanding its population, understanding potential wealth gap, um, potential educational opportunities, where is there opportunities for growth from an employment. So if you're out in the community, I would use this report to take a look at how can I partner if I'm an elected? How can I partner if I'm a um, an educational individual looking to figure out how do I help grow this specific segment because when you look at these reports you can see 
the highest growing segment of individuals gra uh, graduating from high school are Hispanic mm -hmm. or, or have some si uh, sense of Hispanic background. Mm -hmm. So how do we continue to help them grow through those two to four and beyond into the uh, graduate programs to really close that wealth gap? So I would encourage the community as a whole to take a look at this report. It's fantastic. Um, and it uh, lives on our website at SAC hcc.org backslash report so yeah. please take a look at it it's fantastic such a wealth of information and we are proud to um, deliver it um, like I said this is 2.0 there is a 1.0 and you can see there's a distinct yeah. uh, growth and opportunity but really it screams there's so much opportunity um, and we're looking to partner for sure. Oh, and before I let you both go, I wanted to ask about any upcoming events you can share with us. Well, I'm glad you <laughs> asked because tonight is the launch of Taco Plaza. Mm. So it's out on Northgate. Uh, you guys have some information up, mm -hmm. but it's really the first of its kind here for Sacramento. It's a great partnership between the Hispanic Chamber of Commerce, our council member, Karina Talamantes, as well as the Garden Land Neighborhood Association to bring this to life, to build community, to mm -hmm. build commerce, and to enjoy tacos of all types because who doesn't love a taco on a exactly. Friday night exactly so <laughs> if you're out and about 5 30 out on North Cape Boulevard uh, you can't miss it it's gonna be a, a great opportunity to just have some fun yeah and bring some um, bring, really just bring some entertainment and fun out go. to the a district that is thriving in Hispanic culture. All right. Well, Veronica and Lydia, thank, thank you so you. much for joining us today. Thank you thank for having you for us. Of course. I'm going to let our viewers know where they can go for more info. You can go to sachcc.org.